<laughs> now, we, we obviously today is an incredibly sad and reflective day. Mm. Um, you were among the lucky few who actually got to know Princess mm. Diana. Mm. What, what, were your, what are your memories of her? Well, my memory, first of all, um, Childline launched uh, 30 years ago. Um, 1986 and almost at once we got a personal donation from her which was extraordinary and from then on she came to visit us quite regularly and she launched our 10th birthday appeal and she also met some of the young people that we'd helped and um, first of all you're knocked out with what she looked like of course of course mm -hmm. I mean you've met everybody but yeah. at the same time she, she had star quality of something it was sort of you couldn't put your finger on it but it was just wow she was tall she was beautiful yeah and she had this extraordinary charisma mm -hmm. then what struck you was her empathy that she yeah. could really relate to people who'd been to Helen back mm -hmm. and she asked the right question and I remember Professor Yacoub, you know the transplant surgeon yeah, telling yeah, me Maggie, yeah. that among the many private and personal acts of kindness she did, she used to arrive late at night mm -hmm. when there were children undergoing very major surgery who were recovering. Mm -hmm. She'd bring with her a handbag with little coloured bottles of nail varnish and she'd sit on their bed and paint their nails. Oh. And he said, speaking as a doctor, you watched those children suddenly relaxed, looked happy, and he said you could see their immune system coming back to life. She was doing them good. 